Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 on the Commodore 64. It was released in, I want to say, 1990 by Grand Slam Entertainment. They also ported it to the Amiga, the Commodore 64, the Amstrad, and the Atari ST, which I find a weird license because it's basically a port of the Sega Mega Drive game, which was released in 1988, at least in Japan, and released in 1989 in North America, where it was a launch title, I believe, and probably that makes it 1990 in this country. Now, I love the original Space Harrier, and to this day I've always been annoyed that they never ported the original arcade machine to the, the Mega Drive. But it kind of makes sense, because it had been knocking around for a few years at that point, so I guess they wanted to do something else, and so they did a sequel knowing that, obviously, the Space Harrier then carried a bit of a, I don't know, weight to it. So anyway, this time around it's the year 6236, and Harrier has to go to the 214th sector to fight more shit like the first game. Differences are this time, I'm talking about the, ga the game in general, uh, not the Spectrum because it's monochromic, although I've got a gameplay of the Spectrum version and it's shite. Uh, I don't know what this one's like, but yeah, Harry's in an all red jumpsuit. Yeah, don't know why. Uh, I mean, the, the old one with the, you know, the blue trousers and those kind of old school, you know, Dungeons and Dragon boots was iconic. And also, instead of riding around on dragons for the bonus status, which exists in the same sort of order as they did in the first game, you've got a hoverboard, which to me is completely and utterly redundant because you're Harrier and you can fly anyway. But, right, can we select stages? I don't know, because you could, because uh, you're on your ship at this point, because you could um, in the original, well, you could on the Mega Drive, right? There we go. Right, now, I played the US port of the 1985 game recently, and I had played the, uh, the original UK by, port by Elite, which was, you know, released in 1986. So, what annoys me about this right off the bat is, first of all, the music is epic, but there's no sound effects. I mean, you already even got the, ooh, that was the worst impression of it ever. So, to make a game in 1990, that's a follow-up to a game that was done in 1986, you would think they were trying to pass the original, even though it was done by different people. Yeah, they haven't. So you've got, you've got no sound effects, which I know the common was usually one or the other, but I, I don't know. It's Space Harrier. I want sound effects. Graphically, it's not terrible. Again, it's not as good as the previous... I can shoot trees! Hooray! Fuck you, David Attenborough and Bill Oddy. Mainly David Attenborough. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's got the, the line effect, not a checkerboard, which on the Spectrum it had a checkerboard, the original game that is. So, you know, I don't know, it's to me it's just, why spend all that money on a license? To me it's odd that a Mega Drive game was ported to the home computers. I don't know why, maybe maybe that's just me. But, yeah, um, yeah, why pay all that money to get a license and then not make it as good as a game that was before it and older than it? Right, so... What sort of dragon is that? That is awful. Also, it's... Yeah, trees at the same time. I mean, you know, why make it easy right at the start? Again, that's probably not its fault, because it's a poor. You ain't... I do like its fireballs. Or indigestion. Oh, well, that, not the boss, then, because I thought the boss on the first... Was the boss on the first stage that woman's head with all the shit flying around it? This should be called in the manual. Boss, woman's head with all that shit flying around it. No, it's the turtle. Someone's turtling three times. Fucking hell, his lasers are... Look how quick they are. And I can't seem to fire your standard fly in a circle. Works. Hey! Oh, but I can't seem to... When I'm right in front of him, I can't even see my lasers, so I don't know if I'm actually firing. Even if you have got three heads, it must still fucking hurt to have one blown up. Is that it? No continues. No continues. Oh, that's weak. Weak. I must have a look to see what it's like on the Amstrad. And how the Atari ST and the Amiga. And as I used to argue when I was at school, Playground Wars, 
I bet they don't look anywhere as nice as they did on the Mega Drive. Sorry, I still can't let that one go. Right, so, a circle, Dave, circle. Don't worry about trying to shoot them. Although it's giving me pop like forearms. Yes, find a circle. It's the trees, or the stationary objects I seem to have a massive problem avoiding. I don't know. But I mean, have you played of the, any other versions? Let me know what it was like. You ink, you ink. So there's a dragon halfway through where you stood on the level, and it's the fact that the trees are moving. That's kind of cool. You know, it is mixing it up. Oh, shizen. Just want to get to the turtle again and kill it. Oh, was that a dragon then? No, I don't know. The problem is, it moves too quickly with not enough detail, so you can't really, I don't know, put yourself in a position. I'm not openly bagging on it, or maybe I am. Put yourself in a position where you think you can avoid shit. And also, their lasers are two bloody ha Harry Clappers. Yoink. Ah! Yoink, yoink, yoink. No, that wasn't the dragon, it was just explosions. Previously. Previously on Space Harrier 2, it wasn't the dragon, it was just explosions. Let's see what I get there. That's making me want to have a seizure. That's horrible. Hey, check it out! I can just hold the button down! Oh my god, I'm a friggin' idiot. Oh, why was I not made aware of this? Again, also, if you read this on the Commodore 64, let me know what you thought of it. Right. I don't know if I'm hitting him. I mean, I'm always going to be a little bit overcritical of the Commodore because I was a Spectrum boy and still am. Sorry. So you're, I am hitting him. Yoink, 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 yoink. Move, move, move. And there we go. The turtle is no more. No change of colour? Do I think it plays better than the Spectrum version? I honestly don't know. Because that's a pretty bad version too. What are they? Right. I'm feeling nauseous, I really am. <laughs> moan, moan, pissing moan, Dave, seriously. What are they? Why am I raising my voice in that funny manner? Where's the bird this feather comes from? Someone has got to get that quote at some point. I'll give you a hint, it's one of my favourite programmes ever. Right. I don't know, is that stationary or uh, stationary objects? Uh, or just background objects, I should say, or just weird fucking aliens. Ow. How many lives do you get then? And also, seriously, Grand Slam, you could include other music. Freaky. I'm super freaky. Telephone post, sir. Well, there you go. Space Harrier 2 on the Commodore 64. I'm not going to lie. I'm not impressed. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.